James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today's August 6, 2022, 5.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the entire world is lit up. Our electromagnetic shield is lit up on all corners of the globe, and our Schumann resonance has been spiking off the charts. This is our electromagnetic field model in Italy, whereas this is our Schumann resonance spiking completely off the charts. Look at these geophones getting hit, folks. And you can see the charts here end at about 105 hertz, and these spikes clear that with ease. And this has been ongoing for some time, and not only on the Italian model. The Tomsk model and the Canadian model are both going off as well. Something is impacting planet Earth, period. Here is our six-day comparison. You'll see that just for the last three days, we have seen action. I thought yesterday may be slow because, i.e., CERN was not operable all day long, but that did not stop these huge Schumann resonance spikes. So obviously that has little to do with what's going on. You can see these geophone strips, we've been hit continuously. We had three hours of action earlier today. We're back in a pretty serious spike as we speak here. And it's, i.e., the end of the day UTC time on August 6th currently. Jumping over to the Russian model of the Schumann resonance, the Tomsk model, i.e., Tomsk time, they're well into the 7th of August, but you can see that the 6th was lit up, and even into the 7th we saw spikes. And these are very strong spikes compared to anything we've ever seen on the Tomsk model. And they were pretty much ongoing for over 12 hours. Wow. What is really amazing is for the last 13 or 14 hours, we've also been pounded. Our Schumann resonance is spiking off the charts that end at 50 hertz here at Laurentine University in Canada. Wow. So we have all three models showing the same exact thing, an ongoing event. Something is pushing at our electromagnetic field, and I mean hard. Heading over to CERN, we can see that it is on. It has been on for full power today. Uh, and I really do not think that this is what is causing the Schumann resonance spikes, although the pattern looks similar to what we're seeing in the spikes. I believe that we really have a secondary source of energy, either that we're orbiting or that is orbiting us, this could be a black hole even in the center of our galaxy. This could be a binary star, maybe an ultraviolet or infrared star that's come up close that we can't see because it's out of our visual spectrum. This could be a rogue planet near our solar system. Again, we could be orbiting something as a solar system or something could be orbiting us. Either way, I believe that we have a secondary source of energy based on what we're seeing here. Now, with that said, we went into a space level event at around 12 UTC time where plasma started shooting up. I believe that we're getting hit by one of those CMEs that popped off two days ago from 3068, right? And it's up to over 15 centimeters cubed in plasma right now. What's really strange is our solar wind speed was forecasted to increase because of the Earth-facing coronal hole. And actually, it's been pushed down from about 375 to just over 325 kilometers per second. And look at that temperature also dropping very, very low. Again, plasma is increasing, and we see that we are in a space weather event ever since that plasma started hitting us. Uh, and it started about noon, but it's intensified since then. And again, we have some readings above 15, almost 16 centimeters cubed. 
Uh, but I don't believe that anything like this would cause a large human resonance spike either. We've seen much stronger plasma hit the planet without causing a human resonance spike. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, these spikes are unprecedented. This didn't start happening until just a few years ago. And no one has come out and tried to explain it whatsoever from any scientific agencies or any governments. Uh, this must be something that uh, they were not expecting or they wouldn't have built these models uh, with extents that would be broken right through. In other words, we can't see how strong these spikes are because this model ends at 105 hertz, which is quite a Schumann resonance spike on its own. But this exceeds that. This is even stronger than that. Most of your models end at 40 or 50 hertz. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World. God bless you guys.